the reclusive jaguar. Rare images captured on cameras set up in a protected forest in northeast Guatemala. And today, biologist Ronnie Garcia is out changing memory cards and taking a look at what kind of animals have passed by. <laughs> a mother jaguar with her two cubs. It's more than the men could have hoped. It's great news that we are able to see five different jaguars at this one spot alone. We have cameras at 50 spots in total, so to be able to see five in just one place shows that we are doing some good work. The study is the largest of its kind in Central America, with 100 cameras set up across 520 square kilometers of land. And as researchers learn more about jaguars, they are better able to help guide conservation policy. Ironically, many of the same communities who once burned the forests and shot jaguars are now helping to save them. And this is where the images are really having an impact. I feel very satisfied seeing the photographs, but more than that, I feel really happy to be so close to the jaguars. Being able to visualize them helps me put effort into protecting them. Outside of the protected forests, cattle ranches dominate the countryside. It's here that most jaguars are killed. So it's where Ronnie and his team also focus their efforts. We're on our way now to visit a cattle farmer whose use of a very simple technology is helping to reduce the conflict between jaguars and humans. Just two weeks ago, a jaguar killed one of Marco Tulio's calves, costing him thousands of dollars in lost income. At one time, he might have hunted down the jaguar. Instead, the government and the Wildlife Conservation Society helped him build this jaguar-proof animal pen. With this bigger space, the enclosure really works. If the jaguar attacks from one side, the calves can go to the other side. This is the only sure way we have to defend them. Once nearly hunted to extinction, there are now an estimated four to five hundred jaguars in Guatemala. And Ronnie Garcia is picturing the day when there are many more. David Mercer, Al Jazeera, Peten, Guatemala.